Now, there was drama in the build-up to the opening match of the Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt after Zimbabwe fans were allegedly locked out for almost two hours by officials. The fans who were already inside the Cairo International Stadium ahead of their game against host Egypt read mischief into the decision when they were led out in unclear circumstances. Bernard Ndong updates us on the strange turn of events that foreshadowed the official start of the continental showpiece. The opening match of the African Cup of Nations was between the hosts Egypt and Zimbabwe at the Cairo International Stadium. The Egyptians had turned up in their thousands and the long queues outside the stadium, the capacity of 70,000, was a testament of the huge turnout. While the host's vocal supporters made their way to the stadium, the opponent's fans were visibly agitated after being asked to leave their seats by unnamed officials to allegedly be upgraded to a higher level. Well, something very interesting transpired ahead of the game between Egypt and Zimbabwe. Now, all these fans, you can see there, all of them had their respective tickets for the game. They're already inside the stadium, and then apparently they were told to leave, and they've been out for more than two hours. We have been turning, this is almost three hours now. We have been going around the stadium. They're trying to use the old tactic like, to frustrate us so that we don't rally behind our, our players. And we are very angry. We are very angry. So they pretend as if they were helping us. They brought us out uh, in t uh, as if they were helping us to show us where to sit. To sit. Uh, little did we know that they were taking us out of the stadium. I mean, it's a long journey to come to Egypt. And all we want to do is support the Warriors. No, no, no. This is not good. F football is just a game. They must let us in. The Zimbabweans were finally allowed back in the stadium to enjoy the games from a different section from where they had been before. It is however still unclear what prompted the mix-up with the Confederation of African Football yet to respond to the drama. Bernard Ndong for Citizen TV, Cairo, Egypt.